Hello, Fergus Timmons here. Welcome to this short presentation on changing relationships. In this short presentation, we're going to look at how a change of role uh, to becoming a family care can impact on you, the family caregiver. So, role change is important. Um, it's very likely that the role change to becoming a family care can be a very positive emotional experience for you, uh, certainly in the short term. Uh, providing care and support to a loved one can be hugely rewarding. You can feel much closer to the person that you're caring for and you can get a lot of satisfaction from providing care. Uh, of course, this may depend on who you're caring for and whether that's a spouse, a sibling or perhaps an in-law. As time goes on, however, and as dementia progresses, other feelings can manifest themselves. We want to look at these now in the next couple of slides. So, in terms of role changes of family care, the following are important. Uh, a sense of role captivity, something that we call role overload, relational deprivation, caregiver physical health and emotional impact. So a change of role to becoming a family caregiver can lead to some of these um, experiences. And we're going to look at each of these in turn now in the following slides. So role captivity is a feeling of, I suppose, being uh, an involuntary participant in the caregiving role. Uh, you may not have asked to become a family carer. In fact, it's highly likely that you didn't ask to become a family carer that the role was thrust upon you, uh, sometimes at short notice and sometimes quite suddenly. Um, and this can lead to feelings of entrapment in a particular role. You may not have a lot of support from within your family in terms of providing care to your loved one. Uh, you, may be, you may feel trapped in that particular role as a result. Role overload really refers to a feeling of um, being overwhelmed by the tasks of providing care. And again, in the early stages of providing care, maybe in the early stages of dementia, this might not be an issue. However, as time progresses and as dementia progresses and the symptoms become more um, serious, then the task of caring can become quite difficult and quite demanding. And of course, if you're isolated, it can be very exhausting for you as the lone provider of the care, if that indeed is the case. Uh, relational deprivation is, I suppose, the feeling that the person affected often loses many of the traits, abilities and characteristics unique to their personality. This is really important, actually. So the person that you once knew um, changes and the dementia changes their uh, traits, their personality, their characteristics. And that, of course, is very difficult for yourself as their loved one. And unfortunately, as we've seen from earlier presentations and in earlier parts of the course, the dementia is uh, a permanent um, a permanent situation and a permanent condition. And it is, over time, going to lead to changes in your loved one. So, of course, this has a huge impact on the relationship between yourself, uh, the caregiver and the care recipient. So physical health is another um, possible outcome of this role change that you are experiencing. So especially again as time progresses and as the level of care you're providing increases and intensifies, uh, there may be impacts on your physical health in terms of sleeping, diet and perhaps the development of various illnesses. Um, diabetes, obesity, poor immune functioning and slow wound healing can be um, more apparent as you provide more uh, and intensive care to your loved one. Be careful too in terms of lifting and moving that you do so correctly and you prevent uh, back injuries to yourself and be careful also about your diet and about getting exercises uh, and getting exercise. We will provide another um, topic later in the course, which will be primarily focused on looking after yourself as a carer. Because after all, if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to find it much more difficult to provide care to your loved one. 
Now, all of the above can have an emotional impact on yourself as a family carer. Um, and, you know, without being too alarmist, there can be a risk for some people of developing depression. Um, and these risks, I suppose, depend on factors such as your own personality, your support networks and your coping mechanisms. And as I said, we'll look in more detail at some of the coping mechanisms later on in this topic and we return to looking after yourself as a carer as a separate topic later in the course. Okay, so that's really all I want to say in this short presentation. Uh, to sum up, family caring can be a hugely rewarding experience for yourselves, but beware of the potential uh, negative impact as well, because that is more likely to happen as your care giving increases and intensifies. Okay, thanks very much for listening to this, and um, We'll see you later on in the course. Thank